Hello lads, since many of you are bloat max Balkan at the moment, I thought to give a heads up in regards to certain products there among Oreos cookies, because I will read something from the webpage of Greenpeace. I've actually started following the activities of Greenpeace as of late, and I will make a separate video about them later on. But uh, let's get over and see what the crack is. Tell big companies to drop dirty palm oil. Time is up for forest destroying products. Indonesian rainforests are our strongest defense against climate change and home to endangered species like Sumatran tigers, elephants and orangutans. But right now, these precious forests are being ripped to shreds to make way for palm oil plantations, pushing these species to the brink of extinction. Despite knowing this, the makers of Oreo continue to buy palm oil from Vilmar, the dirtiest palm oil giant in the world, for the millions of cookies that are being produced every day. Tell Oreo to stop buying palm oil from rainforest destroyers. Tell them to drop Vilmar. Then you can sign a petition there as well, but there is a much better way to get companies to listen to you. I've said this before, I'll say it again, you vote with your wallet. The simplest way to get a product to disappear is to simply not vote for it, simply not consume it. This is true for whatever product we're talking about. Supply and demand. If there is no demand for a certain product, the supply will not be there anymore. So if no one eats Oreo cookies that contain this sort of palm oil, yeah, the, if the demand drops, the supply will follow. Therefore, it's the only reasonable course of action to um, stop eating Oreos, basically. Now, another thing here you can do is um, always look at the ingredient list of whatever products you're consuming. And then you can see what is it exactly that I am buying. Because in this particular example, you can see that on one side of the spectrum is you, the consumer. You go into a supermarket and you want to buy some sweets because you're bloat max Balkan and you have a bench press session coming up. So then you look at different alternatives and then you see Oreo cookies. But then you also see in the ingredients list that they have palm oil and then you now know that it comes from a company that basically destroys the habitat for orangutans. Then the link between you as the consumer and the deforestation of uh, this particular area. Yeah, there's a link there. So what you can do is basically cut that link by simply not buying. So if you want some companies to stop doing something, uh, yeah, stop buying. And I must tip my pickle halber to Greenpeace here for enlightening people about this. I didn't know that Oreos, we don't really have Oreos in Sweden anyway, and I haven't eaten Oreos in several years. So it's not something for me. But if you do are eating Oreos, or for that matter, any product that contains palm oil, I know a lot of chocolates have uh, palm oil in their um, ingredient list. So anyway, the conclusion is that you vote with your wallet and don't vote for people who are destroying the planet, basically. Uh, it's absolutely unreasonable that they are uh, cutting down the habitat for orangutans, tigers and elephants so that they might go extinct for the profit of some uh, crony capitalists and the satisfaction of fat people, basically. So, that's my wisdom for the day. Or not my wisdom, actually. It's Greenpeace's uh, wisdom. So, shout out to you yet again. XOXO. Boom.